What's up YouTube? It's your boy Montez. We learn back with another video. I want everyone to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Now I'm back with another The Story of. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about O Block Muwap, the head honcho, the Veta O Block. Wow. I'm a vet. I'm a vet. Before I leave my crib, grab that tag. O Block Muwap is originally from Parkway Gardens. It became Old Block after the murder of his friend O.D. Perry when he lost his life in August 2011. Old Block's main beef is with STL, Jaro City, Brick Squad, and 051 Young Money. You can often see Muwap with Old Block E Dog, Old Block Munaduke, Old Block Bleach, and none of the latest King Von. Old Block Muwap had to suffer just like his ops at an early age when he started to lose a lot of his friends like O Block White White, O.D. Perry, which is actually the reason why the whole Parkway Gardens is named O Block, and others such as J Money, Platoon, and Sherrod. And to prove that O Block Muop is an actual original, I will show a few pictures of uh, old pictures in 2009 or 2010 of O Block Muop, King Von, T-Roy, and a lot of members from 600 all in one picture. Here goes one right here. And here goes several more. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but in 2014 or 2015, Old Block King Von and STL Wooski's brother Big Mike decided to actually go on a drill, which led to the murder of Malcolm Stokey. After that, they were picked up by the police and they were locked up on murder charges. And now that King Von was locked up, Old Block T-Roy had to pick up the torch. He had to become the chief of Old Block and hold things down while King Von was locked up. And what's crazy is you never would see one without the other. There's plenty of pictures of King Von and T-Roy together. They was undefeatable. It was even heard a rumor in the streets that T-Roy and King Von would do multiple hits, multiple murders, and try to play a game on who could kill more than the other one. I know it sounds crazy, but if you go watch the Trap Lord Ross documentary, you'll see everything there. But since this is my commentary and my video, and I appreciate all my fans, I'm going to continue to talk about my video. So let's get right back to it. So, Old Block Big A was murdered inside of a chicken restaurant right across the street from Old Block. It was rumored that Can't Get Right and FBG Butter was the ones that came in and killed Big A in retaliation for Big A and King Von killing STLKI, the female assassin. Old Block Muat would start to become more noticeable on the internet around that time when Big A was killed. Because Old Block Muop used to hang out and be in all the pictures with Old Block E Dog, Old Block Muna Duke, Big A, Jado from Old Block, and HK. That's T Roy's little brother. Joaquin Vaughn was still locked up. The most shocking thing that happened to Old Block that they never seen coming. They lost one of their most beloved members on February Valentine's Day 2017. Old Block T Roy. That's when the Get Back Gang was correlated and a lot of people lost their lives on the ops side, of course, due to this. But after that, Old Block Muwap began to be in the streets more and more. He started to slide a lot more after losing more of his homies. It seemed like every year that went by, he lost a different homie. So around 2019, this is when the best thing that could have happened to Old Block happened. King Von, the top savage, was released from jail and after serving seven years in prison for the murder of Malcolm Stokey, he came back with not only respect from his block, but a lot of more respect from the internet as well. King Von would make his first song called F Around, but that would get a lot of notoriety, but not as much notoriety as the next song and video that he would drop with THF Bezu called Beat That Body, referring to both of them beating the body and getting out of jail. Under the wing of Lil Dirk already being famous in the industry, Von began to blow up really fast, and Old Block Muwap was his right hand man. Every time you get on Instagram Live, King Von would be with Muwap. It's even been various times that Muwap was with King Von and Lil Dirk on the same live, and Lil Dirk actually acknowledged Muwap. That's how you know Muwap was the top savage. Now that I gave you a little bit of background on Old Block Muop, now let's get to the story where he started to rise to fame, and then I'm gonna talk about the fall of the Old Block Six. 
In 2019, Old Block Muop will begin to rise to fame with Old Block King Von. Old Block King Von made numerous songs like Take Her to the O, and he also made a few songs with Muop that actually hit millions of streams. Muop became a mythical figure on the internet now as being King Von's right hand man. Every time Muop would get on live, everyone will flood his live with comments asking about King Von. It's a lot of IG lives where King Von is actually with Muwap all the time. Also around this time, Old Block Boss Top was making music as well. It looked like things were beginning to look up for Old Block until August 4th, 2020, on his fateful day when FBG Duck was killed. And this is when the Old Block 6 was born. On August 4th, 2020, FBG Duck decided to go downtown and shop for his son's birthday. His son's birthday was actually coming up, his son CJ. FBG Duck decided to take his girlfriend and ride downtown on Oak Street, which will prove to be a fatal mistake. FBG Duck was walking around in the store of Milano's and the several other stores. FBG Duck felt normal as he's shopping around. He didn't think anything of it. So after FPG Duck gets through shopping, he ends up going to another store. But around this time is when the coronavirus hit, so you had to wear a surgical face mask. So while FPG Duck is standing outside of the store, two black cars pull up. So before the car even stops, an unexpected shooter hops out and starts shooting at FPG Duck, followed by another shooter, and then multiple shooters indoors in his slang as well, leaving FBG Duck laying on Oak Street lifeless. Several of the shooters hopped back in the cars and they left. Sadly, later on that day, FBG Duck ended up losing his life and Chicago ended up losing another hip hop pioneer. So as FBG Duck's death began to hit the airwaves of the internet, of course, Old Block stayed silent for a little bit, but that couldn't hold off long before they began to taunt FBG Duck. Old Block, pretty much seemed like they had actually got away with it. Around 2021, around 2021, Old Block Boss Top made a huge mistake by saying on an interview, I quote, if you diss Troy, RIP FBG Duck. Now after this interview at the time, it didn't seem like it was a big deal. But after that interview, the feds didn't look at it like it wasn't a big deal. The internet began to, the internet began to speculate that Old Block was responsible for FBG Duck's murder because, to be honest, before that, no one really knew who did it. So, after that interview came out, what happened was the feds actually started to scratch their head and look into the investigation. So Old Block thought that they had got away with it. Life had went on normal, but a few months after FBG Duck was killed, King Von was killed in an incident with rapper Quando Rondo and Lil' Tim. So it seemed like both blocks had actually took an L that year. ABG Duck on the STL side and King Von on the old block side. After King Von and ABG Duck was killed, soon after that, a rumor had become to come out that King Von had actually put $100,000 on anybody who would kill weekly, which is ABG Duck. So... Rumor has it that O Block took the hit. Now, over time, evidence started to come out that it was going to be a Rico. And they, what happened was they had gathered up a lot of evidence on O Block, and they actually went to O Block and actually checked the cameras and found on August 4th that there was a lot of suspicious activity going on. The first video was released of old block members running down the steps as in they were in a hurry to go and do something. Who was going up the steps? Old block Muwap, old block Kenny Mac, and you got C Thing on the camera putting on a hat with an Adidas hoodie on rushing down the stairs. Soon after that, they pieced together all the video footage from the street poles, the stores downtown on Oak Street, and the stores around old block. Soon after that, after the feds had got involved and gathered up all the evidence, they had grabbed, they had grabbed, they had grabbed, they had grabbed all the, they had grabbed five O Block members, O Block Muwap, Kenny Mac, Los Muna, 
see murder, see thing. But there was one more that they didn't grab because he had actually committed suicide, which was Zell Muna. And it's rumored that if Vern was alive, that he'll be charged as well for paying for the hit. Now, if you want to look more into this case, I would prefer you to go to the YouTube channel Trenches News. He knows everything about the case. He pretty much touched on everything on it. He 100% with it. Everyone go uh, watch it on Trenches News channel and shout out Trenches News as well. Now the case known as the O Block 6 was awaiting trial. What ended up happening was they wind up losing trial. All of them got charged with life. And to come to find out as well, this whole situation happened because O Block 6 was actually tricked off the streets by a member named THF TZ, who had had a personal issue with Duck because FBG Duck had slept with THF TZ's baby mom some years ago when THF TZ and his baby mom wasn't even together. So THF TZ spotted Duck downtown on Oak Street and pretty much called OTF D thing. D thing had called O Block, Fed say, and Muop in the O Block 5 came down there and murdered Duck. But TZ is the one who dropped Duck slow. So THF TZ was also arrested. So with all the amounts of evidence the FBI and the Chicago police have brought on trial, pretty much they're saying the person you see hopping out the first black car before it even stops moving is Old Block Mua, followed by Kenny Mack, and then you see C-Thing shoot a duck as well, and you also see Duck get shot and his girlfriend is shot in the process. So they had a lot of evidence on Mua for sure, guaranteed. I mean, they pretty much did it the sloppy hit. I mean, they did everything wrong. They returned the car. They left notes in the car. They taunted Duck on the internet. Muop made multiple songs taunting Duck. He was wearing the shoes with the Duck flash on it. And all that time when Vaughn was alive after Duck died and we seen Muop with Vaughn, we just didn't know that actually Vaughn had knew Muop was actually one of Duck's shooters. And now it makes more sense why Vaughn maybe gravitated to Muop so much because he had probably appreciated Muop, especially when he had brought that $100,000 to Old Block and he had split up the money through the block and he gave out the Old Block chains, which actually turned to be used in the case as well. Old Block Muop seemed to get more respect from King Vaughn for actually murdering Duck. But at the end, what I can say about all of this is, well... Let's look at some things that Duck did wrong, right? FBG Duck, what he did wrong was, yes, he was mad about his brother FBG Brick being murdered. But what he had to understand was, he said he was going to change his life for the better, which means no matter what the ops say, it's you stick to your word. If you say you're not going to diss the ops no more, you stick to that. And I felt Duck went back on that, especially when he said he had only made that song for business, which means he didn't mean everything that he said in Chicago Legends from his heart. He was just talking and doing it for the money. And then he went, one of the, another thing he did wrongs was FBG Duck had made another diss song called Dead B Word. I'm not going to say it on YouTube, but, but you know what I mean. He named the song Dead B dissing multiple deceased ops. Of his, right? T. Roy, O. D. Sherrod, and what Doug did not understand was that he had put a bigger target on himself by doing that because he was already blowing up, and O. Block didn't want to really see Doug blow up. I mean, by them being ops, I can see that making sense. But it's some things that Doug did wrong that he should have not done, such as another thing, going down on Oak Street and getting too comfortable a lot of rappers it's already bad enough you rich and you got famous and you still in your same city where everyone knows you everyone sees you you got millions of views just how he was spotted by TZ he could have been spotted by anybody and honestly if it wasn't for those cameras I really believed Duck's case would have went unsolved so several things Duck could have done he could have Send someone to go shopping for him on Oak Street. Or he could have brought 
a bunch of his guys who were well armed down there to watch outside the store because let's be honest when that attack happened if Duck would have had seven or eight people with him that attack would have never went that way Duck could have possibly survived but Duck did not have enough help and he was ambushed by multiple shooters and he was all by himself so he should have brought more protection with him and he should have been more careful now where Old Block Muop went wrong is Muop he was the right hand man of King Von he wanted to do anything he could to prove anything to King Von to be the top savage and he did but see he didn't know Von was going to end up being killed so now Von's gone the money you got from Von is gone your old blockchain, you can't wear that in prison. King Von isn't here for you to impress him. Honestly, even if he was alive, y'all both be locked up right now. So Muop, he should have thought more on going downtown. And the people he grabbed, they chose to go as well. So they have to deal with the fact that they chose to go. Muop could have said, you know what, I'm, I, we ain't going to go downtown and do this because that's too policey, right? But he didn't do that. He was so desperate, he didn't think about getting caught or what could happen. So he just went off and just did what he did with the other old Block 5 members. And now look at Muop's ultimate. Now look at Muop's ultimate reality. He went from being a savage, being turned up in the music industry, millions of views, 90,000 something subscribers on YouTube. His life looked like it was actually getting better, but now he went from all that to a life sentence. And actually, Muop is trying to get acquitted. He's trying to get acquittal right now. Trenches News is talking about it. I'm going to stay updated on Trenches News channel uh, about this old block Muop situation. But Muop is looking like he ain't never getting out, just like the other old block members. It's also sad that someone by the name of Old Block Lil Dave has already gave up multiple members from Old Block, including Muop, saying that Muop had actually was a big dog in Old Block. He had actually killed multiple people for Old Block. So there's a lot of mountain evidence on Muop. But Muop had a chance to change his life. He didn't. That's on him. Everybody makes their own choices. You go do the crime, you gotta do the time. Y'all like this Muop story? Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And I'll make another story just like this. Thank y'all.